right, you guys, just a couple of seconds here. We're going to get started right at 9 a.m. Make sure you've got those gliders, you've got your weights, you've got um, a yoga mat if you have it. And we'll go ahead and get this thing moving, starting to stretch out that body. So we're gonna start in a little wheelbarrow tricep push-up. So we're gonna grab those sliders, put them on your hands, come down to your knees. We're gonna start with that little modified plank position right here, right? And then we're gonna start to open that right arm out. As you send that right arm out, you're gonna drop into that little tricep push-up and then repeat on the other side, right? So you're pressing out that slider, coming into that push-up, feeling that core start to fire up, and then repeating on the other side. So this is a little alternating wheelbarrow with that tricep push-up. Just gonna start to wake up that core, wake up those arms, wake up that body right here. Do you wanna drop those knees down to that yoga mat? You always have that option. You're just sliding out one arm at a time, pull it right back in, and then repeat on the other side, right? So if you want a little front-facing visual here, pressing out, coming down into that push-up, and then right back up. Feeling that core start to fire up here. Really thinking about extending that glider out nice and long. And then scoop and squeeze, you pull it right back in. Everything's on that four count, right? Whew. Pulling those abs in nice and tight. You got 20 more seconds here. Let's try to get one more in nice and slow on each side. Feeling that nice big stretch, that nice big pull. Engage those abs. We're gonna come into a plank with those gliders on those toes. We got some mountain climbers coming up in 10 more seconds. Here we go. Hold that plank, feet on those gliders in five, in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Hold that nice strong plank right here. We're gonna go opposite knee, opposite elbow, and then repeat. Right, that's your mountain climber right here. Squeezing through the core, crossing that knee across your body. Feeling those abs start to fire up. You're alternating here, feeling those obliques. Nice, big squeeze. Yes, this will be available later. We're gonna save it to our IGTV page. So opposite knee, opposite elbow, right into that little mountain climber here. Squeezing through that core. If you need a break, you take it, but you're only got, you only have 30 seconds here. Feeling that core start to fire up, right? Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Whoo! Right into that little mountain climber. 15 seconds and we're gonna come down for some push-ups. Right, give me two more right here. One on each side, squeezing nice and tight. We'll drop to those push-ups in five. In four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna drop down into a little set of push-ups right here. Drop that chest nice and low, pulse once, Press back up. You gotta drop to your knees. That's fine. We're going for that push up with that pulse at the bottom. Drop down one pulse. Press right back up. If you wanna come to your toes, you come to the toes. Feel that chest fire up. Feel those shoulders fire up. Feel that core fire up. Good morning, you guys. All right, here we go. So drop that chest down. One pulse at the bottom. Press right back up. You're here for 60 seconds. 15 seconds here, we're gonna hold it for a pulse. Ready, here we go, in 10, you hold that chest down nice and low. We pulse 10 times at the bottom, in four, in three, two, and one. Drop it nice and low, that's one. Two pulse, three pulse, nice and slow for four, five, six, when we hit 10, you're right back into that push up, full range of motion, in three, in two, and one, right back up into full range of motion. Your final 20 seconds, full range of motion push-ups right here. Woo, we're almost done with this warm up. Woo, I'm sweating, my heart rate is up. Yours should be too, we got 10. We're gonna come right back into that plank. We got a bear cub coming up in five. You hold that plank, we go for that bear in three, in two, and one. Come into that nice strong plank for me right here. Right, shoulders on top of those wrists, nice strong plank. Start to drag those knees in. Stop them right underneath your hips. Press right back out. That is your bear cup right here. 60 seconds, tuck it in, engage those abs. Release right back out. This should start to burn those abs. It should engage the shoulders. Your core squeezes in nice and tight. You are here for 60 seconds. 
And then we're gonna finish with a little whew, bicycle crunch. We're off those shoulders right after this. Here we go. 30 seconds in, you've got 30 seconds to go. Tucking those abs in nice and tight. Your final three reps right here. Squeezing nice and tight in for four. Pull when those knees stack under the hips. Release right back out. Right, final two right here. Tuck it in, squeeze nice and tight. Release right back out. It's nice and slow. Last one right here. Squeeze, hold it for a second, and release. We're in that little bicycle crunch in three, two, and one. That's it. Oh, shake it out, shake those shoulders out. If you have that minivan, grab it, put it around those knees. We're gonna go for a little bicycle crunch. This is the finish on those abs. We're into our legs after this. Here we go. Twist, double pulse at the top. Come back through center, double pulse on the right, right? So you're just going into that little bicycle crunch. If you have the minivan, great. If you don't have it, forget about it. It's no big deal. Here we go. Crunch, twist, back through center, repeat. Feel those obliques fire up. Feel that center core twist nice and tight. Tailbone of the crown of the head is one straight line. No rounding, no hunching. Pull the shoulder blades back. Crunch from here, right? Here we go. Your final 30 seconds, if you want to speed it up, you speed it up. We are right into that left leg after this. All right, you guys, we're good. Final little push right here, 20 seconds. Ring those obliques out, nice big twist, nice big squeeze, and then repeat. We're gonna lay down, we're right into a left side hamstring curl. You'll need one glider coming up in 10. Keep crunching right here, use your breath right here for eight. In six, we're gonna lay down. We go for a left side hamstring curl in three, in two, and one. That's it. If you have that booty band on, you can keep it on that leg. We're gonna go right into a little hamstring curl. So your left foot is gonna come onto that glider. You're gonna lay down, lift up into a bridge, and then we're gonna start to push that left foot out. Heel grounds down, and then we're gonna pull that left leg right back in. So we're on our left leg. We're on our left leg in that little hamstring curl, right? So you're holding that nice, strong bridge. That left foot's gonna push out, and then you're gonna pull it right back in. So you're squeezing those glutes up nice and high, and you're feeling that left hamstring start to fire, moving nice and slow. You're holding that nice, strong bridge. You're pushing that left foot out. Scrape and squeeze, pull it right back in. Hi, Emma, good morning. All right, so you're holding it up nice and high. Think about engaging your core. Think about squeezing both of those glutes, both of those inner thighs. Your hamstring should fire, right? You push it out nice and slow. You pull it back in nice and slow. We're firing up that hamstring, firing up those glutes. You got 15 seconds right here. And then we're gonna hold a nice strong bridge. Here we go, in 10. That left foot's gonna plant underneath that left knee. We hold that bridge up nice and high in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, hold that nice strong bridge. Your left foot is gonna stay planted. Your right foot lifts up. We're gonna add that pulse, lift up. Pulse once, pulse twice, drop right back down. You're gonna press and squeeze up once, pulse twice, drop right back down, right? So you're gonna feel that left leg fire. Your right foot stays extended up. You can also reach it out if you wish, right? That's fine. Pulse once, pulse twice, drop right back down. I want you to think about getting your left glute up nice and high. Fire through the hamstring, feel that glute, feel that quad. Keep moving here. You got 15, no, you got a little longer than 15 seconds. We're almost there. We'll go right into a left side curtsy lunge from here. I need 30 more seconds here. I want your left glute to fire up right here, right? as high as you can through that left leg. That heel is heavy, that right leg stays extended. We hold it high in three, in two, and one. Here we go, all the way up to the top. Now pull, it's up, it's up. You got 15 seconds here to finish off. Keep pulsing, keep squeezing that left glute nice and high. We stand it up in 10, in nine. We're gonna take that booty band off. We're right into a left side curtsy lunge in five. Keep moving, four, three, two, and one. That's it, stand it right up, shake it out. Take that booty band off. We'll go right into a left side 
curtsy lunge. So my left foot is gonna step forward. My right foot is on the glider, right? And I've got a little stagger in my stance. So my left foot's forward, my right foot is gonna start to come, ooh, lost my balance. Start to come behind me, right? I'm gonna pulse down once, I pulse down twice, I press to squeeze right back up. If I can get my arms up overhead, it's a little bit harder. You drop down once, nice and slow. And then we pulse, you pulse twice, you press to squeeze. So this is a curtsy lunge. You'll notice my feet are staggered. If this were an elevator, it would look like this, right? Going straight back, we're adding that little stagger. So I've got a little external rotation in my left knee and my left toe, they're angled out. And then as I lower, my right foot comes back behind me. If it feels too far to go really, like to get that really full extension, don't stagger quite as hard. That's okay, right? Add one pulse. Two pulse, press and squeeze right back up. Everything is nice and slow. You should feel that hamstring and that glute fire up. I'm sweating, you guys should be sweating too, right? Hopefully. Whew. All right, so you're lowering down. Two pulses, one slow pulse, two slow pulse, press and squeeze, it's right back up. So the side view, my knee stays behind my toes, right? One slow pulse, two slow pulse, I press to squeeze, I stop at the top when I still have a little bit of, bit of a bend in my left knee, right? All that weight stays forward. I feel that outer glute fire up. One, pulse two, press squeeze. You're here for 15 seconds. We're gonna go for a hold to finish this thing off on this curtsy lunge. Last little push, Whew. I'm sweating. Here we go, 10 seconds. We're gonna hold it nice and low in five, in four, three, two, and one, hold it nice and low. Get those arms up over your head. We're gonna go for a little circle. Here we go, start to reach that right foot all the way around. Bring it in front of you, and then right back around, right? So you're, you're tracing that little circle with that right leg, grounding heavy into that left heel, holding it nice and low. Tracing that circle here, reach it around, press it right back up to the top. You're here for 30 more seconds. And then we're gonna get that release. We're right into a left side deadlift. Here we go. Back into it right here. If you lose it, you shake it out, you get right back in. You have 20 seconds. Keep circling right here. Squeeze and reach. And then right back around. Here we go, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna let that slider go. We're gonna go right into a left side deadlift. Whew. After this, you grab either that booty band or those weights. You got five more seconds, one more right here. Last three, last two. And one, that's it, let that slider go. We're gonna go right into a little deadlift right here. That left foot is gonna go into that little, if you got the booty band, use the booty band. I'll show you with weights in a second. So we're gonna plant that left foot, right foot's gonna press, right ball of your foot pressed into the ground. And we're gonna go right into that deadlift, right? So you're lowering down, nice neutral spine. And then I'm gonna press back up. I can add that row at the top. Advance, you extend that right leg back behind you, right? So you're gonna lower down, nice neutral spine, and then you press and stand right back up at the top, add that row. You can use that booty band. If you only have weights, you use those weights, right? Same thing. You can keep that right foot planted, that's fine. Nice and slow though, right? Four counts down, four counts as you press right back up to the top. Option here to look at that right foot up behind you. That's it. And then if you wanna add that row at the top, you add that row at the top for a little bit more in those arms. It's a deadlift, right? So we're staying static in that left leg. You drop down nice and slow. You can use that booty band, you can use those weights. It's your choice, whatever you want, right? So drop down. You should feel the hamstring fire. The glute should fire and then we're gonna press back up. Squeeze at the top. We're not here for too long. This is kind of a little bit of action recovery. We got one more little lunge motion coming up to finish off that left leg. We're almost there, right? So butt extends back, press and stand right back up. If you have the balance, you lift that left leg at the top. If not, you don't worry about it. Your final 30 seconds right here, we got one more little lunge right here. So when you're in that deadlift, Keep that left leg nice and soft. Keep your spine neutral, right? No rounding, no hunching. Pull the shoulders back. 
Stick the butt out. Don't tuck the tailbone. Push it out. Lower. Press back up. You should feel that hamstring and that glute fire up. Add that row at the top if you can, right? So you're lowering down. Either with the weights or that booty band, you row it at the top. 15 seconds right here. Woo! I'm sweating. There we go. We're gonna go right into a little lunge hold to finish it off. You'll need that glider. Final 10 right here. Give me one more. Nice, strong row. We'll let those weights go. You drop that band. We grab that slider in three. In two. And one. Here we go. This is our finish on the left leg. We're gonna start to wake up that right leg. So the slider is on your right foot. My right foot is on that glider. My left foot stays planted. I'm gonna hold a nice low lunge right here. And we're just gonna go for a little bit of a reach. So you're gonna reach that right foot out, pull it right back in. That right foot extends out laterally. You pull it right back in. You push that right foot back behind you. You pull it right back in, right? So we're gonna press that right foot out. You are holding that left leg low the whole time. Nice low squat with that left leg. Push that right foot out. Use the right hamstring, pull it back in. That right leg extends out. Use that right inner thigh, you pull it back in. That right foot extends back behind you. You pull it back in. The whole time, you are grounding through that left heel. Your tailbone extends. Your core is tight. This is your final 60 seconds on your left leg. We are not here for very long. So I want you to think about staying as low as you can Whew, into that left leg. Like the second you wanna take it out, you wanna stand up and reset, try to hold on just a little bit longer, right? That left leg should fire. You should feel that right leg waking up here as well. We're going right into that right leg from here and you are 30 seconds in. So your final 30 right here, let's go. Push it out, use that right hamstring, drag it in. Reach it nice and long, nice and slow. Use that inner thigh, you pull it right back in. Press it back behind you, pull it back in. If your lower back takes over, shake it out, come right back in, 15, let's go. We're gonna lay it down, we're right into that little hamstring curl on the right side, your final 10. Last one right here, you got six, you got five. We lay it down for hamstring curls in three, in two, and one, that's it. So lay it down. Put that booty band back around those legs if you have it. And we're gonna find that nice, strong bridge. Here we go. So booty band is around my legs. My right foot this time is on the slider. I'm gonna hold that bridge, lift my hips. My right foot extends, and I'm gonna pull it right back in. Right, so that is the movement here. I'll face this way, maybe this will help. Hold it high, push that right foot out, Pull that right foot right back in. That is the movement, right? So your right foot's on the glider. Your right foot is pressing out and pulling back in. Your hips stay nice and high. You should feel that right glute. You should feel that right hamstring fire up. This should feel intense on the right leg. You're squeezing through those butt cheeks, lifting up through that right side. Last little push right here. You got 15 seconds and we're gonna hold that nice, strong bridge. We go into that one-legged glute bridge on that right side, final 10. Get higher in that right leg here. Squeeze through that hamstring, squeeze that left butt cheek at the top as well for eight. In seven, we hold it high. Right foot stays planted, we find that bridge in three. In two. And one, here we go. So that right foot stays planted, two pulses at the top, drop those hips. Press up, one slow pulse, two slow pulse, you drop back down. If you wanna extend that, right, that left foot out a little further, that's okay, right? One slow pulse, squeeze. Two slow pulse, squeeze, drop right back down. You're pressing through that right heel. Squeeze that right glute nice and high. Feel that peach fire, that's it. There we go, lift up. Lift up, you're pulsing at the top, you drop it right back down, your core is engaged. You fire it up, we're gonna hold in 15 seconds. I want two more, Woo! right here. We're gonna finish with that hold. You come high in five, four, three, two, one. Hold it nice and high, now pulse, it's up. It's up, you pulse in, squeeze, final 15 seconds, as high as you can in that pulse. We're standing it up. We got that curtsy lunge coming. Don't stop moving for eight. 
for seven. Higher right here. Squeeze nice and tight. Feel that burn. You have five. We grab that slider. You're going for that curtsy in three, in two, whoo, and one. That's it. Take that booty band off if you had it. Grab that glider. Catch your breath. Shake it out. Stand up. Here we go. Right side curtsy lunge. So my right foot is going to stay planted. My left foot is going to come behind me. I'll show you this way. We got a little stagger in the stance, right? So my left, my right foot has a little external rotation. And then I'm going to start to lower down to the bottom of that lunge. One slow pulse. Two slow pulse. I press and squeeze right back up. That is your curtsy lunge right here. Pulse once. Pulse twice. Press and squeeze right back up. This should burn the outside of that right glute, right? If you guys take my class at home in San Francisco, I love the curtsy lunge. I just think it's super effective on that outer glute, right? You'll feel that little nugget start to fire. Move nice and slow. So your right foot stays planted. We're on that right leg here. You lower down into that right knee. You press once. You press twice. You stand and squeeze, right? And if your knees or your hips or your ankles, your joints aren't feeling this, Regular elevator lunge, just like this, that's perfectly fine, right? But if you can get that stagger in, you're gonna feel that outer glutes start to fire right away. Peter, hi Peter, I know you're feeling this on that curtsy. Here we go. So everything's nice and slow. Arms up if you can. I'm on the wrong leg here. Squeeze nice and tight, right? And when you get to the top, look, my knee is behind my toes. I still have a little bit of a bend in my right knee. All of my weight is still forward in my right foot. I could lift my left leg up if I needed to, right? Pulse once, pulse twice, press squeeze. You have 15 seconds here. I want two more as slow as you can. Get those arms up if they're not already there. We're gonna hold it nice and low. We finish with that little, let's call it around the world, right? We're gonna hold it low in five, in four. We hold in three, two, and one, hold it nice and low, arms up if we can. Start to circle that left foot out, reach it in front of you, reach it right back around. There we go, you should feel that fire start to build, right? Hold on to it right here. Circle it out, squeeze at the top, there we go. Reach it right back around, keep moving here. You have less than 30 seconds. This should fire up that little nugget on that right butt cheek right here. Last little push, get nice and low. Arms back up if you can. Here we go, reach it around, reach it right back up. If you guys are in my class and want those arms up higher, here we go. Shoulder blades back, tailbone extends. Your final 10. A nine, we're going into that deadlift. Last one right here. You drop that slider, you grab that band or those weights in five. In four, three, two, and one. That's it, let that slider go, shake it out. Grab either that band or those weights. Right side deadlift, here we go. That right foot is gonna step forward. Left foot back behind you. Lower down into that nice slow deadlift. You should feel that hamstring and that glute fire. Press right back up. Roll those arms at the top. If you can lift that left leg back behind you, you left, lift that left leg back behind you, that's fine, right? Press and stand, row it in. If you don't have the mini band, you grab your weights, right? Same thing. You'll notice I have a little bend in my right knee. My tailbone is extending. I have a nice neutral spine. My hands are scraping down my right leg, right? I'm not coming out super far. I'm keeping it nice and tight. Drop, press and squeeze. Think about flexing that right boot at the top. Add that row if you want to. Right, that's it. Melissa, yes, it will be available on our story for 24 hours and on our IGTV page after that. So no, wor no worries if you can't make it right now. We're in that deadlift right here, you guys. This should feel like a little bit of a breather after that curtsy lunge, right? Option here to get that left foot back behind you. I'm looking at the ground as I lower, and then as I stand, I can look back in front of me, right? Try not to look up the whole time. There we go, last little push right here. We're gonna finish with that little lunge hold. You got 20 seconds, I want your last three. Lower down, 
nice and slow, you press and stand. And if you don't have the balance to reach that left leg back behind you, I don't care, that's fine. Don't reach the leg, think about the form, think about the tempo, think about grounding into that left heel. Your final 10 seconds right here. We're gonna grab that slider one last time. Woo, our final push on that right leg, you guys, in five. We're going for that little lunge hold in three, two, and one. Let that band go, drop the weight. We're resetting. My right foot is gonna plant right on the ground. My left foot's on the slider. I hold my nice low lunge. Start here. Reach that left foot out, drag it right back in. Left foot reaches to the side, little lateral reach. Drag it right back in. Left leg back behind you. Scrape and squeeze, nice and slow. Right back in, repeat. Here we go, reach it out, pull it right back in. You should feel that left hamstring, and holy shit, your right leg should be on fire, right? Reach it out, pull it in. Reach it nice and wide, we pull in. That left knee, or that right knee, excuse me, stays behind those toes. Engage your core. You are here for less than two minutes. Woo, what's up, Steen? Steen's here. Last push, you got a, your last 40 seconds right here. So check in, this is your finish on your legs. You are totally done with that lower body. We are over halfway through this class. Whatever you have left in that right leg, 30 seconds to go, right? Try to get one more reach into the front. One more lateral slide, one big reach to the back. We're gonna go right into those obliques after this. Final 15, let's go. We're gonna go right into our second set of mountain climbers. You got 10, sit down a little bit lower. No breaking now, your final eight. You hold that plank. We're going for wide mountain climbers in three, in two, and one. Shake those legs out, grab both of your sliders, both of your towels, whatever you're using. Find your nice strong plank, here we go. Shoulders on top of the wrist. I'm gonna reach my right leg wide, back to center. Left leg comes wide, back to center. You're here for 60 seconds. Reach it wide, back to center. Reach it wide, back to center. Try to go slower than I'm moving, right? That's just a visual to kind of get you into the move. Woo, 60 seconds right here. We're firing up those obliques, right? Using those gliders. If you ever need a breather, you shake it out. You reset, you're 30 seconds in. We got 30 to go, let's move. Squeezing those abs, feeling that left oblique, feeling that right oblique, using the shoulders. We're right into a left side. Woo, bear cub after this, 15, let's go. Your final 10, we'll reset, we shake it out. We're going left side bear cub in fives. In four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, reset, here we go. We're gonna start in a nice strong plank. And we're gonna start to bend those knees into that right elbow. And then you'll release right back out. And advance, if you want to cross those toes, can you see my feet are crossed? Right, left foot in front of the right. Knees bend in to the right elbow. Release right back out. This is challenging, this is a bear cut. It should feel really heavy on that left oblique. Pull it in, release it right back out. If this is too heavy for you, and you want to go back into that little wheelbarrow, you can just go into that little wheelbarrow, right? Left arm reaches, pull it back in. Left arm reaches, pull it back in. That's still gonna fire up your left oblique. That is a perfectly fine modification if that bear cub is too much, right? You take what you need, you do what you can. Woo. 30 seconds in. We got 30 seconds to go. That is four reps. Think about squeezing that left side body. Nice and tight, no breaking now. We're gonna get that release in 15 seconds. We come into a plank on your elbows or your hands. It's your choice. You're there in five, in four. We hold that plank in three, two, and one. Hold that nice strong plank. I think this is a better way to show you. We're gonna hold a nice strong plank. My left leg just reaches right out to the left, right back into center, and then I'm gonna pull it into my left elbow. Back to center. Left leg reaches out, back to center. Left leg tucks in. Back to center, right? So I'm gonna call that little reach, like a little one-legged plank jack. Reach it out, pull it center, 
Reach that left leg to that left knee. Back to center. So out, center. In, center. Out, center. In, center. Everything is slow. Move slower than I am. You have 60 seconds. We're off the shoulders and wrists after this. I promise you. Last little push right here, you guys. Finish strong, right? Woo! You're 30 seconds in. You got 30 seconds to go. If you want to come down to your elbows, that's fine. Out, center. In, center. Your left oblique should fire. We're going right into a little mermaid crunch after this. Find a little push. You might want your yoga mat for this next one. Final 10. Give me one more of each right here. We lay it down. We're into a mermaid crunch in five, in four, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna lay down. This is my right side. My right hip is touching the ground. I'm gonna rest my right arm down. I'm gonna reach my left arm back behind me. And I'm gonna go for a little cherry picker, right? Pulse once, pulse twice. Reach it right back out. Pulse once, pulse twice. Reach right back out. If that's too heavy, you crunch it in like this. Right, extend that long. Feel that left oblique fire. Pull it in nice and tight. You are here for 60 seconds. This is your finish on your left. Woo, left oblique, here we go, last push. Right, so if you want a little bit heavier, straight legs. If that's too heavy, knees tuck in, that's fine. You modify, you take what you need right here. Big reach, big squeeze. Right, think about what you're working here. Mind muscle connection, super important. We are right into that right oblique after this. Your final 30 seconds, let's go. Tuck it in, pulse, pulse, reach it right back out. Tuck it in, pulse, pulse, reach it right back out. Woo! Feel that left oblique, this is it, you guys. If that's too heavy, if you have tight hip flexors, leave that bottom leg down, that's totally fine as well. Right, you take what you need right here. Your final 10, we're right into that right side. Twisted bear cub after this. Here we go, last five, last four. We grab those gliders in three, in two, and one. We're gonna do the right side exactly the same way we just did the left. Hands on the ground, nice strong plank. Knees into the right elbow. This would probably be a better way to show you. Hold in that nice strong plank. Knees into that left elbow, right back out. Option across those feet in front of the other right foot in front of the left. You always have that option. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So bending those knees into that left elbow. Open it right back up. I know this one is hard, you guys. We're starting with the hard one. And we're going to work our way right back down. Here we go. All right, you guys. I see your comments. Put your phone down until we finish this right oblique. I love the comments, I love them. I know you need that breather. Take a sip of water, here we go. Get right back into it. Whew, I'm a puddle of sweat too, trust me. Look at this, whoo, all right. Last little push, you guys. Tuck those knees in, you have 25 seconds. That's three more, right? So whatever you have in the tank, we'll get that release right after this. Keep tucking it in, squeeze nice and tight, and then release. There we go, final little push. We're gonna shake it out. We reset, we find that plank in 10, in nine. We hold that plank in five, four, three, two, and one. That's it, hold that nice strong plank, reach that right foot out lateral, pull it back to center, pull that right knee in, back to center. Reach it out, center, in, center. That is your movement right here. That is the finish on those shoulders. We're off those joints after this. So we got one more oblique move. We got arms to finish. You're done after that. I think we're gonna be good on time today. We're gonna get those arms in. So last little push right here. 30 seconds in, 30 to go. Give me two more of each, right? Reach it out wide, pull it to center, pull it in right, back to center. One more, pull it out wide, back center, squeeze that oblique. Back to center, we go mermaid in three, two, and one. That's it, stand it up, shake it out. Here we go, right side mermaid. We're gonna lay down. This time my left hip is on the ground. 
I'm gonna reach my right arm back behind me. And I'm gonna reach up once, squeeze. Twice, squeeze, back down. If that's too heavy, hands behind the ears, and you tuck it in just like that. If your hip flexors are tight, and you wanna keep that left leg down, you keep that left leg down, right? That's totally fine. You should be sweating. This should feel like a break on the shoulders, but I want you moving super slow, thinking about that right oblique firing up right here. Here we go. Reach long, and then let's squeeze. Once, squeeze twice, right back down. Pull it in once, squeeze once, squeeze twice. So you've got options. You can tuck those knees, or you can reach it long for that nice big cherry picker, right? It is your choice. Your final 30 seconds, we got arms coming up after this. Last little push. Olivia says she's glad that we are not doing this snake and bear combo. I know, it's a little gift to you. Maybe next week we'll add it back in. All right, last little push, you guys. Your final 20 seconds, give me three more. We are into our arm series after this. 15, let's move. Squeeze nice and tight. Feel that right oblique fire. One last time to finish. We stand it up. We grab those weights or that long cable in five, in four, three, two, and one. That's it, our final four minutes of class right here. We're gonna start with some bicep curls. Grab your weights, elbows come in 90 degrees, and we're gonna start to curl in nice and slow. Pull the hands up to the shoulders, and then release right back down. Stop right at 90. We're not coming down all the way. Right, stop right at 90, and then pull right back up. So if you have those butt, those weights, you go right like that. If you have this long black cable, it's the same thing, right? Elbows start at 90, you pull those hands into the shoulders, feel those biceps fire, release right back down. Right, stop right with the elbows at 90, think about flexing the biceps, pull right back up, nice and slow. Soft bend in the knees, core is tight, if you want to take this from your knees, that's fine. It's your choice. Standing or on your knees, whatever you want. Here we go. 15 seconds. We're going to go for a little hold. In 10. Hands come in. We hold it 90 in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it 90. Shoulder blades back. Start to open those arms out. Pull them right back in. Open out. Pull them in with those cables or with the weights. It's your choice. Whatever you're doing right here, open and close. Notice my biceps stay squeezing into my rib cage. I'm not letting the elbows flare out. Hold it tight. Reach out, pull right back in. My elbows stay at 90 the whole time. Reach out, pull in right here. We're gonna hold it 90 in 15 seconds. Let this burn. Think about the mind-muscle connection, especially if your weights are not very heavy. Think about what you're doing. We hold at 90, right at center, in five, in four, in three, two, and one. Hold at center, just hold, right? Flex those biceps nice and tight. Now we're gonna go for a little rainbow curl. You reach out, nice curl, go nice and wide, stop at 90, come right back in to center. Right, stop at 90. Reach out, squeeze, come back through center, reach it in, we're here for 20. Reach out nice and wide, squeeze those biceps, stop, pause, come right back in. We hold it one more time in five, in four, three, two, and one. Hold it center right here, right at 90. One last little clamshell, open and close. We open, good, we close it nice and slow, nice and tight. We're right into a chest press, or shoulder press, excuse me, in five, four, three, two, and one, shake it out. Here we go, arms up overhead, elbows at 90. We're gonna go nice and slow into that shoulder press to the top, release it right back down. So we'll come to the knees, right? Elbows stop at 90, right back up to the top, and then release right back down. Even with light weights, this should feel heavy. If you have that balance, or that, not balance, that long resistance band, you step onto it, you do the same thing, right? Totally fine. Press up, release back down. Press up, release back down. You can go both feet on, but mine's a little bit heavy to do it with both feet. So we're just pressing, it's a shoulder press. I want your elbows to stop at 90 degrees, right? We stop right at 90, you press back up. Release back down, you press back up. 
Your shoulders should start to burn right here. You're moving nice and slow. We're gonna finish with a little clamshell. You got 15 more seconds right here. So keep moving, right? We're in that little chest press right here. Or excuse me, shoulder press. Press up, release. In 10, we're gonna hold those elbows at 90. In five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at 90, pull those elbows in, release back out. This should engage those biceps. This should work that chest, those shoulders here. Pull it in, Woo! release back out. You got 20 seconds, no breaking. I'm right here with you, I'm not gonna stop. Right, 15, let's go. Pull it in, back out nice and slow. Good, squeeze, release, you got 10. You got nine. We're gonna drop those cables, drop those dumbbells. We finish with a little plank work in five, four, three, two, and one. That's it, drop those weights, grab your towel one last time. We got a little bit of plank work to finish it off. All right, so my toes are gonna go on my sliders. This is your final 90 seconds of class right here. All right, so we're gonna hold that nice strong plank and we're gonna go our final set of mountain climbers right here. Opposite knee, opposite elbow, nice and slow, nice and tight. Your shoulders should already be on fire, right? You're here for 30 seconds, and then we got one last little push to finish. So opposite knee, opposite elbow, feel your shoulders, feel your core, feel those obliques. Keep moving here, your final 15. Right, this is it, big deep breath in. Woo, big deep breath out, last little push. We're gonna hold that plank one last time. 10 seconds, one more on each side. We hold that plank in five, four, three, two, and one. Pull that nice strong plank, belly button into the spine. We're gonna army crawl. Walk those hands out, walk it back. This is the finish. If you don't have room for this, you go for either a plank to pike or a bear cut. Here we go, walk it in. Walk it right back out, your final 60 on your elbows or on those hands. This is your finish right here. Your last 30 seconds of class is this army crawl, right? On the elbows, on the hands, it's your choice. Squeeze those abs, pull that core in nice and tight. Our final push, you got 25 seconds to finish it off. If you've dropped out, catch your breath, come right back in, right? I know it's hard when you're by yourself. Pretend like you're on that mega former in class right here, 15 seconds. If you gotta hold that plank, you hold that plank, your final 10, last nine. You get that release, you get that child's pose in five, four, three, two, and one. That's it, Woo. Let it go, right? Take that child's pose here, knees wide, hips back, arms reach out in front of you. I like a little thread the needle here, right? A little thread the needle to kind of open up the shoulders and the lats and the triceps. And that is it, you guys. Take what you need here, obviously. Whew. I am sweating, I'm a sweaty mess right now. Um, that's it, you guys. Thank you so, so much.